Getting started, you're gonna grab yourself some heavier weight mesh material, and you'll only need about a half a yard. You'll need less than a yard of quarter inch foam, or it can be less than a quarter inch. You wanna grab some twill or duck canvas to cover the brim. You'll need a sweatband, or you can make one, but I recommend buying one because they're super cheap and they make the hat look so much nicer. And you'll also need a brim, and both of these are available at capsupplyco.com. And you'll want to grab yourself a closure. And actually, for this video, we're going to be using Clawbacks, and this is a brand that reached out to us, and they're super cool. They come in all different styles, and it's a cool new look for the snapback. So I definitely recommend checking them out. And don't forget to use our promo code 10 proper fit to get 10% off your first order of Clawbacks. And lastly, you need your pattern, and this pattern is available at ProfitFitClothing.com, and it's super easy to use. All you have to do is print it out, cut it, and you're ready to go. And again, all the supplies will be linked in the description below. Getting started, go ahead and trace your back and side panels on your mesh, and then your front panel on your foam. Next, take your front panel, and you're gonna wanna place those peaks with right sides together, and sew just that front edge. And this is gonna give it that front peak that you see on all trucker caps. Now go ahead and take your back two panels, place the right sides together, and just sew that back edge. Now we're gonna show you how to install your double needle. It's just like a normal needle, you just install it, and what you're gonna do is thread two spools of thread and set your machine to zigzag. We're going to show you two different options for adding on your bias tape and these are just two different bias tape folders the one on the right is just one you can get at any hobby store and the one on the left is available at capsupplyco.com So all you have to do is line it up with your needle, tape it onto your machine, and cut your bias tape to the right measurements, and you're ready to start sewing. But if you do have brackets on your machine to screw it down, I definitely recommend doing that. But you can totally get by with just taping it on. So go ahead and take that back panel, line the seam up in the center of that folder and just sew all the way through. Next go ahead and grab a side panel, place the right side on one of the sides of your back panel and what you're going to do is just stitch that on. Now, 
Next, go ahead and do the same thing for the other side panel. With both those side panels sewn on, go ahead and take your front panel and what you're gonna do is stitch it on all the way around that top edge. You know, back when I was in the academy, we would follow every toast with a song. Now we're gonna go ahead and add the bias tape to those seams and we're gonna do it in an X pattern. So we're gonna go back and forth. And the reason we do it this way is because that it just makes straight lines and you don't have to curve that bias tape as you're sewing. And to finish off that back edge, we're going to use the double fold bias tape binder and you can get these for both domestic and industrial sewing machines. We're obviously using one on the industrial, but we're going to have links in the description for both. And the last step for the crown is to add on the side strip and you do that along the bottom edge. And this helps for adding on the sweatband later and just gives a little bit more structure to the bottom of the crown. Next step is making the brim sleeve. So go ahead and grab your brim and trace it onto your fabric. And you're going to want to use two pieces of fabric. And then from there, go ahead and do a straight stitch all the way around that arch. Now go ahead and trim about a quarter inch from that seam. Flip the right sides out and then start maneuvering your brim into position. And if you are satisfied with the look and the tightness, you can skip this next step, but we are going to be adding some stitches to the top of the brim. And we are using a guide that will be available on capsupplyco.com. It just helps with getting nice, neat stitches around. As you can see, we're doing one line at a time, adjusting it, and then doing the next, and then making sure they're nice and even. Honestly, you can use any guide for this step, something that just keeps that brim from sliding all around. twist mm. now that your brim is nice and tight into position I recommend using a zipper foot for this and then go around and make a seam along that back edge of the brim Pull towards the back of the brim to make that fabric nice and tight as you sew. Now go ahead and trim about a half an inch from the inside of that brim. Go ahead and mark the center of your brim and the center of your crown. Line those up and we're going to start stitching from the center. And I recommend using that zipper foot again so you can get close to that edge and stitch one half at a time. and then go ahead and stitch the other half. And doing it in two parts like this really helps keep that brim centered. Now we're gonna be attaching the sweatband. This step we made our own attachment and we made this out of heavier stock paper. All you have to do is make a little sleeve that your sweatband fits in there nice and snug and then go ahead and tape that onto your sewing machine. 
it serves as a guide so that way the sweatband doesn't slide all around while you're sewing it onto the crown. So go ahead and roll that edge over and just start stitching all the way around the bottom of that crown. And I definitely recommend using thread that matches your sweatband so you don't notice it. Now we're going to go ahead and add on our back closure and all you have to do is roll that sweatband over towards the inside and just place that snap in between the outside crown and that sweatband and go ahead and sew it on. And then repeat that process for the other side. Now we're going to be adding on our cover button and this is a three piece set which is available at capsupplyco.com so all you have to do is add your fabric onto the top cover, place a center piece in that cover and then from there press it onto your cap or feed that prong into the bottom and push that cover on top and you're good to go. And we also have other videos showing this process more in detail. And the last step is adding on your eyelet vents and this is more for looks because it's mesh but go ahead and make your marks and press your eyelets on all those panels. And there you have it, your trucker cap is complete. Definitely try this a couple times because it's not gonna turn out the best your first time, but they're gonna get better over time. And like always, be sure to like, subscribe, comment, let us know what you think, and if you have any ideas you wanna see us do, definitely send them our way, and we'll try to make that happen for you.